All right, we're going to continue with modeling the gun. And so I thought we'd spend all the energy on the second video on working on the muzzle. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit five. All right, if yours is a little bit too wide, go ahead and work on that. I think this is uh, all right. So I'm going to go here, go to face, and select that face. Go back into uh, side view after adjusting the width of it. So now we're going to hit extrude. Again, I have to hit W. You don't have to hit W if you already have a, a pop-up thing. Just, again, grab the grab the arrows to move in. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to um, object mode. And again, to get to object mode, you get on the line, right-click, object mode. Right, I'm going to select it. And I'm going to go ahead and do my insert edge loop tool. Okay, and I'm going to pull down right here also. So we're going to go to face. And this should probably, we can go ahead and start tapering this down. Hit W. Taper that down. Probably taper this down too. And again, we're just trying to follow the silhouette of the gun. All right, we're going to face. And we may want to go in here and make sure this is square because we don't want the bullets are not rectangular. They're going to be square. So we can go ahead and hit R and try to make this into a square shape. Just eyeball it. It's fine for now. And on the bottom, I'm not sure what this is. I'm sure it's a air release. I don't know. Uh, so we're going to select the front. Make sure it's square. That way we can... Uh, just kind of a rounded form. Go back in here. I'm going to hit extrude. And I have to hit W, but you don't have to. So pull this out. Extrude again. Okay. Extrude. Extrude again. W. Pull over here. Extrude one more time. There you go. I grab this face. Be careful not to select the top one. Extrude. Extrude. I'm going to pull it forward just a little bit. And you may want to get up close to see this. Move it forward just a little bit and hit uh, R. And we're going to squeeze this out to make this uh, whatever that is. Extrude. Hit w. And pull down to the end. Alright, looks good. So we zoom out. That's good. So we're going to go ahead and perspective view. And we're going to work on, the, I guess, the site here. So we're going to hit, hit extrude, hit R. And we can squeeze this in just a little bit. We'll hit W, pull it up just a, a scotch. Hit R, I'm going to squeeze it in the other way too. And then we're going to hit extrude and hit W. And I'll use the side to... Uh, Make sure it's the same height. Hit R to squeeze it in. All right, go back perspective, and I'm going to squeeze it in so it comes into a tight point. All right, there we go. And we'll grab this, extrude, hit R, squeeze that in, extrude one more time, W, and we'll pull this back. We'll do the same for this, whatever this is. Extrude, R, squeeze in, and extrude, W. And we pull back, Oop, not too far, so it doesn't uh, go outside of your little box here. Don't do that. Make sure it fits inside nice and neat. And I think that's about it. I think we'll taper um, these. You can see these go in a little bit. So we'll go right-click, vertex. And we hit R, or actually we can just do it by hand, just go in here and pull this down. Uh, actually, we'll go by R. Just grab these and hit R, just taper it in. Okay, the same with this. Taper that in, just a little bit. All right. So go to object mode. There you go. This is the beginnings of it, and so if I hit Hit 
it uh, through. You can see what it looked like if it was smoothed out, but we probably won't do that. Um, go ahead and go back to one. And three would be smooth, so you can see what the barrel would look like if it was smoothed out. Not that great. So let's go back to one. And there you go. I'm going to end the recording here, but go ahead and make sure you do a save as, just in case you uh, crash or you lose your system. Go ahead and do a save as and call it um, gun one.